Well, business cleaning up after vehicle went right through the front entrance. Copter 4 flew over that storefront during CBS 4 this morning, and you can see someone cleaning up that big mess. This was near County Line and Quebec in Highlands Ranch. In Colorado, you can protect the environment even after you die, and that's because body composting is actually legal here. That means people have some green end-of-life options. Danya Backus shows us how it all works. She was very strong and put up a really good fight. Donna Augusto lost her mother to bladder cancer last April. I knew that she wanted to be cremated and have some of her remains spread with my father's remains. Instead of a traditional cremation, Donna decided to go with an eco-friendly water cremation or aquamation. It combines warm water and an alkali solution to decompose the body. It does not put any uh, emissions into the air. Phil Barrick is the president of White Rose Aqua Cremation in Escondido, California. He says water cremation uses 90% less energy than flame cremation. How do people get ashes from this process? At the end of this process, you still have the bones. The bones are then run through a processing machine that basically turns it into a very fine powder. Aquamation is just one approach to environmentally friendly burials. Some people want to give directly to the earth by turning their body into compost. What body composting is, is a managed biological process that occurs inside of a vessel. Seth Vidal is the manager of the Natural Funeral in Lafayette, Colorado. Colorado, Oregon, and Washington are the three states where body composting is legal. The funeral home built a chrysalis composting vessel that turns remains into soil. And inside that vessel, we place wood chips, alfalfa, straw, and then a microbial brew of both bacteria and fungal agents. And over the course of about four to six months, the body, along with those other organic bulking agents, are converted into a beautiful, rich, living soil. The soil is then given to the family or donated to sanctioned farms. Vidal says most of his clients want to give back to the earth as their final act, a way to protect the environment after life. Donya Backus, CBS News, Escondido, California.